but if you uh, want to look at um, some pictures of other facilities that have been completed in the uh, recent past, I have photographs of that. It's clear that it's high, high quality construction. They're proposing to spend a, a lot of money on the renovation of this facility, and so uh, I don't think that's an issue. What is your reconstruction budget? A renovation it budget? It hasn't been firmly established, but it's approximately, it's, it's going to be over $3 million. All right, and $3 million. And they pay, uh, the church pay how much for the um, property? I'm not going to disclose that. There was a figure mentioned earlier, but I'm not going to disclose that. Okay, that's, that's fine. <laughs> that if you can't, you can. I it's mean, multi million dollars. Okay. Yes. Out of curiosity, could you tell us a little bit about the Dunwoody location? For example, there's 11,000 square feet. How large is their assemblage area? How many parking places, places does that facility have? And that's the first two questions. I've never been there. Um, I'm aware of parts of it. I know that they have it, the maximum number of spaces that they ever use is like 30 spaces um, at that facility. So it's not. Um, it, it's a small facility. It's a much smaller facility than this. But you already uh, use 30 spaces. I'm trying to try to understand what. The it's not a linear equation, though. You don't know. Okay. Let me just respond a bit that, that uh, since there have been a number of questions raised about the existing facility in Dunwoody, we'll go ahead and review how they use that facility now, since it's obviously still in use, and we can give you that information. I don't think. I don't have that information, and Mr. Galloway doesn't either, so I just wanted to make sure you knew. Uh, Tricia? While we're discussing the Dunwoody facility, there have been complaints from the neighbors about the condition of the grounds for the, since uh, the ownership has been conveyed. And the several of the neighbors have gone to look at the Dunwoody facility and have stated that that also is not well kept and does not create a favorable visual impression. Would the applicant be willing to condition in, uh, Nancy, I don't know if staff can do this, willing to condition in a twice monthly? The staff is going to be able to uh, handle the, the site as a maintenance site if you believe that it's not being properly maintained. As you know, we also have code enforcement within the department. Uh, we'll go ahead and follow up and regularly track it, and if it's not being maintained, we'll do what we do with everyone, uh, which is to notice them and use them to correct the situation. I'm sure that they'll make every effort to do that after that. Yes. According to the documents that I read, it is, I don't know if you can divulge mm -hmm. this information, but is it true that the Church of Scientology purchased the building in, um, in 2005? Woody? I don't know the date. I, I know they've owned it for a while, um, and, and uh, it is in disrepair now. And it is the, in disrepair. It is in disrepair now. There's no question about that. And that's why the maintenance or the reconstruction budget is so high is because it is in substantially in disrepair. But uh, what, what I understood was the reconstruction was mainly going to be interior in the interior, not the exterior. And my point is that they've owned it, according to the records, they've owned it since 2005. It's been horrible in our neighborhood since 2005. And I have pictures that I took last week. There's at least 12 shutters that are falling off or hanging off or halfway there, there's been grass, I mean, the, nobody's taking care of the grass, and the roof shingles are down, and there's trash all over, I mean, it's awful, and, oh, and there's graffiti. If you'll give me those photographs, I feel certain we can take care okay, of Okay, well, well, my point is, but my point also is that if this is, if they've owned it for these past four years, is this the way they're going to keep it looking, is my, my point. And the answer is no, that's not the way they're going to keep it looking. They're going to, this is going to be um, their location for the Atlanta area. It's going to reflect their values and their, and it's going to be their headquarters here. So they're going to, if they're going to pour the kind of money that they're pouring into the site, they're going to take care of it. Uh, they're going to have their brochures coming there every day. 
and uh, they intend to, uh, to make it into like a, a, a nice facility. If you look at the photographs I have of other facilities, you'll Why haven't they taken care of it then, these past four years? Well, perhaps because they've been raising funds for other reasons, et cetera. But that, I don't know that, and that's not really relevant. It's going to end up uh, in a much better situation than it is today. Yeah, I, I would say that it is relevant in the sense that, uh, that we need to know that, and if you've got the photographs, I'll we'll certainly follow up on it. Yeah. And I have one other question back to the parking. Um, you, were, you were saying that, and this is what confuses me, you're saying that in the assemblage area, you have sufficient parking, which is 1,400 square feet, okay? But then you have 44,000 other square feet and so, what is the code, or how do we know we have enough parking for the rest of the, the building? The code, the code regulates parking based on use. For office, it's three per thousand in Sandy Springs. Three spaces per thousand Three square spaces feet. per thousand square feet. Mm -hmm. um, for a church, or for a, a place of assembly, it's one space for every 30 okay. square feet if you have non-fixed seating. This is proposed to be non-fixed seating, which means chairs. Chair. And so, as a result of that, that is the code provision that controls how many square feet or how many parking spaces you have to allocate for that facility. And it's the same code, <coughs> code that is regulates Sandy Springs Methodist or whatever else. Um, and that's how they determine it because that's. Uh, for the way the way the codes are developed is based on traditional uses of a property they assign based on studies how many parking spaces are needed to accommodate those uses. In this case, a, a place of worship, that's how they do it. But and you, you're, we accommodate you're, that. You're fixated on the place of worship and we all get that. But we don't Because that's what we're applying for. That's but the that, only that's difference. the only place but there's 44,000 square feet left that people are going to be coming in and out of. We're going to we'll address the, the issue of the total use of the building when we address the conditions and you raised the question and we, we understand that we just don't have the answers for you yet. Madam, that gives me little confidence in that you did not address the rundown, dilapidated look of the building since 05. Now, I realize what a Sandy Springs has been a city for what, a year and a half, two years, whatever right. it is. Actually, three. Since right. 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 And when you say, oh, we'll take care of that, that falls pretty flat. Well, give us an opportunity and we'll try to do it. And uh, uh, it may not have been immediately apparent uh, to us, but it may have been much more apparent to you. And I wish that somebody had called and said something. We have. have dealt with you. Did. We have. People have. Uh, if, if you've got that record, I would appreciate that because I will certainly go back and, and address that issue as well. There was someone back here that wanted to speak first, so yes, sir. Uh, Nancy, so from the numbers that have been presented, the site doesn't satisfy parking requirements today. Is that correct? It's not clear yet. We're going to be, I'm going to go back and review. I mean, without the church use, just if it were just going to be used as an office, there are not enough parking spaces there. Is that correct? I, I think it's, a, but it's a grandfathered use. It I understand that because yeah. I remember. But it doesn't meet the current requirements. I, I remember and opposing it. As with it. many others in St. Springs. Yeah. Yeah. And, and I remember opposing it. Of use. Well, we're going to be reviewing it, yeah. I remember opposing it when uh, Buckhead Brokers okay. went forward with that site and, and you know, the other question, or another question I have, is what specific variance is being asked for? What there is no variance that's being requested. They're requesting a rezoning because the current zoning of the property only is for office use. There is no provision for a church. If, uh, as you know, when the zoning ordinance provides for a broad range of uses in some of the zoning districts, but